What's up you guys? Today I'm going to be filming a fitness Q&A for the channel because it has been a long time since I filmed one of these. So, roll the intro. So the first question I am seeing is from Buffness and they asked, what is your favorite cheat meal? My favorite cheat meal, I don't really have them anymore, but I could say like my favorite just like dessert, like high calorie snack would have snack would probably have to be the BJ's cookies and cream pizuki. I'm an absolute sucker for it. It's just so good. Michaela Cecilia asks, what do you think of CrossFit? When I first started this channel, I used to like rag on CrossFit. Like I was like, oh God, it's a joke. It's terrible for you. But now I've gotten to a point where I think that if you have a good instructor, like, and they're hard to come across, but if you can find somebody who can actually teach you how to do CrossFit properly, then I think it's great. And I've seen it literally make some people look incredible. Mira B asked, how do you feel about energy drinks? Lots of people say they're awful for you, but I see famous fitness people drinking them all the time. I mean, in all reality, energy drinks are really bad for you. There's nothing about them that is generally good. I think that people just get addicted to the caffeine, and that's why you see so many people repping it. I don't really drink energy drinks. If I do, on a rare occasion, I'll have a Red Bull. But I mean, to each their own. You know, if you like drinking drinking your energy drinks and keep on keeping on. There's a lot of things in this world that aren't good for us that we still continue to do. Sunny Mamba asks, should I work out at age 15? If you want to work out at age 15, you work out at age 15. Don't let me or anybody else stop you. Just, you know, be safe. Consult with a physician beforehand. <laughs> Eric Felix 32 asks, can you feel when guys stare at you and how does it make you feel? And I'm assuming that you're referring to when I'm at the gym and yes, I can absolutely feel them staring at me, but I think it's getting to the point where they're staring at me now because I walk in with my little mini tripod and my camera and I just like don't say a word to anybody and I just like film and get my shit done. And it doesn't really bother me, it's just more so annoying, you know? When they're staring at me, whatever. If they want to stare, that's fine. I think that they're more just consumed with the fact that I'm carrying carrying around a tripod and filming every single set that I do. Tan.3 asks, how do you convince your girlfriend to do squats? I actually really like this question and I would say the next time she asks you, babe, does my butt look good in this dress? You say, yes, but you know, it would look even better if you did some squats. My theory is she can't actually get upset with you because you did in fact tell her that her butt looks good, but you're just like giving a little helpful advice. Like when she says to you, you know, you look good in that shirt, but it would look better if you rolled up the sleeves. It's the same idea, right? No, maybe. Alyssa Santana asked a buttload of questions, but I'm going to answer the second question, which is how do you make goals and follow through? And I would say that once you've made a goal, you should know at that point that you actually want to do it and you want to achieve it. And it shouldn't have to be a matter of how can you follow through because if you're motivated and you're inspired enough then you're gonna make sure that you follow through it's all about like your mental mindset making sure that you're in a positive place mentally to make shit happen for yourself I hope that that kind of answers your question. Hey Amy Hey asked, have you competed slash are you thinking about competing? I started watching a while ago and your videos were labeled bikini prep but not sure if you've competed yet. I feel like this is something I need to clarify because I get questions still to this day all the time if I'm going to compete. I can tell you guys honestly, I don't think I will ever end up doing a bikini competition. If I do, then awesome. But right now, I am in a stage where I don't really find it appealing anymore. I think that it's a very intense life life style to put yourself through. I know a lot of people who have had like just crazy ups and downs with their hormones and it just doesn't really seem that healthy to me. So right now, if anything, I'm considering doing a powerlifting meet when I'm actually strong one day. But yeah, I don't think I'll be competing anytime soon. Natalie Lawyer Chick asks, how do you fight cravings for the good shit? And she put like donuts and spaghetti and cookies. My answer is I don't. <laughs> In all seriousness, it's just up to you to go out and find really like healthier alternatives. I remember when I was bikini prepping and I was doing like clean eating and I would be craving sour punch straws like I would think to myself I really want some strawberry sour punch straws like right now but then I would just think to myself you know what sounds even better than strawberry sour punch straws is some actual strawberries strawberries are my favorite fruit so that always helped me is I just think of the flavor that I'm craving and then I try and find <laughs> the original source that causes that flavor Razine H I hope I'm not butchering that asked will you open a merch store near in the future if 
possible. So guys, I actually have some shirts in the works right now. I've had so many of you guys ask if I can launch my own shirts, which is exciting because I would love to launch my own shirts. And so I've been working on them for I think three to four months now, just finalizing different designs and like changing up colors and all that fun stuff. But what I can tell you is that little lion that you see in the corner of my screen will have a shirt of its own. So I'll eventually come out with a video telling you guys, you know, about the line and what it means to me and the meaning behind it. But I just gotta get things sorted first. But yes, thumbs up if you are excited for Jazzy Poo merchandise. But it won't say Jazzy Poo, it's actually gonna be kind of cool. <laughs> Kendall Ballin asked, do you find the majority of Instagram fitness accounts to be totally over the top and unattainable or do you find them realistic and motivating? Honestly, I have seen so many different fitness Instagrams and I can tell you that of course these things are attainable, right? Because they were able to do it. But that does not mean that it was not incredibly difficult or an extremely strenuous journey for them to get to that physique that they're at. Chase Wright asked me, how did you get in contact with Gymshark? So as a lot of you guys know, I am indeed a Gymshark sponsored athlete. I think I have been now for a month, going on two months at the end of this month. And honestly, I used to post Instagram pictures wearing their apparel all the time. At the time I could only afford their compression leggings and I think two of their tank tops that I bought at the LA Fit Expo and I would just wear them in like the same pictures that I had just taken right here in my room over and over again and tag them. I don't know how I ended up on their radar but Dan ended up emailing me and he's like hey we want to make you an affiliate and I was like beyond stoked about it and then I'd say like a month or two later he's like how about you become a sponsored athlete and I literally cried at 3 o'clock in the morning because they're in the UK and I was like sobbing my life away. So honestly just consistency. I didn't hound them. I just kind of showed that I was a fan through my Instagram and through my social medias and I think they caught on to that and they liked what they saw so they made it happen and I am so beyond blessed I love them and I love you guys because if it weren't for you guys I wouldn't get to be a Gymshark sponsored athlete okay this is going to be my last question and it is from Mackenzie Salmon and she asked how do you stay confident when you start bulking up it's so hard for me to be happy about getting bigger because I want to stay lean and thinner but I want a bigger butt this is gonna come down to truly just loving yourself at any stage of your progression so I remember you know after I dropped 11 pounds with Ascendant Athletics I was like, oh my god, for once there's like some leanness in my stomach and like I just feel good. My face is all like slim and stuff and I'm just feeling like a freaking, I don't even know. I just loved it. It was so exciting to see myself lean for the first time. But I know for a fact that I want to get stronger and that if size can be an option, then I'll take size. That'd be great. In the end, I'm doing this just for the sake of being healthier and I think that's what people have to remember is don't really think to yourself, oh, I just want to see abs. Like, girl, it is about to be winter. Winter. Nobody's even wearing their bikinis like that anymore. Like you rock the no ab look. You don't always need abs to be happy. And just enjoy being able to eat what you like. Enjoy that healthier mindset. Your hormones are gonna be like all leveled out since you're not like probably reducing your fats or anything like that. And just enjoy the size that you're gonna put on. And then when summer comes around, you can lean out again and feel awesome. It's just all about a healthy mental mindset. All right guys, that is going to be it for this q and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not hesitate hesitate to throw this video a thumbs up and if I didn't get to your question today please try asking again in the future there was almost 300 comments so there was no way that I was gonna be able to address every single question so just try again next time and hopefully I will see it and that is gonna be it for today's video I love you guys to absolute pieces I'll be seeing you guys in the next video peace out